Hello viewers, this is Nobel Shah. Once again, welcome you all to my Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 tutorial. Today, I am going to discuss about iSCSI service of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. What is iSCSI? iSCSI means you can actually assign a hard disk space from one machine to another machine so that the other machine can use it as a hard disk means the space you allocate the other machine will get it as a hard disk and they can modify it they can make partitions on it and they can do whatever they want so to do that we need to configure both the iSCSI server and iSCSI client in this video I'm going to cover how to configure iSCSI server so to do that what we need we need to allocate a space from our server machine and then we need to install a package and then we need to configure the iSCSI options so let's start okay Okay, let me clear one thing first right so let me check my uh, hard disk first okay I got a hard disk of 12.9 GB and another one I got Davis GB which is around 5 GB so let me start working with the second one let me create a LVM partition first and then that is space we will assign for the client in my previous video I already discussed how to create partitions in Red Hat Enterprise Linux so in the same way I'm doing this as well dev sdv and then if you want to see the options what options are available type m and then hit enter you will get the options and then to create a partition we have to use n options n to create a new partition and the type of the partition here in my case I'm using p for primary partition and then partition number I am using one the default partition number and the first sector leave these options empty and hit enter and in the last sector options specify the size for example we want to assign 4 GB of space to client machine okay so plus 4 G for the 4 GB and then you can check it by using P options okay it is showing that uh, there is a drive which is called Davis db1 and the type is Linux the system type is Linux so to change the type press T and then hit enter and the hex code for LVM is 8e type 80 and hit enter okay so once again type P and hit enter you will see the system changed already which is Linux LVM and that's it type w to write the changes hit enter and type part prove options to get the immediate effect okay so our first thing is done now we'll create a um, logical volume from this to create logical volume we have to create the physical volume first the way we did in our previous class preview create and then the location of the hard disk which is sdb1 dev sdb1 and then hit enter preview created and the second option is vz create 
and then the VG name in my case I'm using IRCSI ISCASI VG the name of the VG volume group and then the path SDB1 Dave SDB1 and then hit enter okay it's saying that volume group successfully created right and then create LV LV create and then the name of the LV using hyphen n option is specified the name for this I am using like data and then the VG name well you can specify size here also using hyphen capital L uh, how much space you want to assign for LV so in my case I'm using like 3G 3GB and then the VG name which is ISKGB and then hit enter okay so our logical volume also created by using LV display option you can check okay this is the LV path select and copy it because we need this and then the VG name and it is showing the LV size is 3 gigabyte okay so now we need to install the package in my case the package name is yum stall target okay target dot nora target cli target cli dot nora and then hit enter okay so our package is installing fine so package installed now uh, you can enable it system CTL enable target right and then type target CLI to get inside the target CLI options so when this prompt comes just type ls and hit enter okay here we go from here we can create the IQN for the target server okay so from here we are actually configuring this machine as a target server because from this machine we are going to give the space to client machine so inside the target CLI options we can see there are some options like backstores block file IO PSCASI and then RAM disk ISCASI loopback okay so first thing we need to create the backstores block so to create the backstores block just type backstores block and then create and then say server 0 dot disk 1 and then the path of our LV that I have copied earlier <coughs> this is the path ok hit enter so our first thing is done we have created the block now now we have to create the IQN for the target server to create IQN type ISKZ then create IQN dot like 2016 hyphen say 02 so the first thing is IQN then dot then the year and then using hyphen specify the month 
so in my case i am using 0 2 this is the format of iq uh, the people who do not know the for the for those people i am saying that this is the format of iq and this is the way you have to write it uh, first you have to write the iq and and then dot then year and then using hyphen you have to specify the month and then dot the domain in reverse order okay like if you have the domain example dot com you have to write it like this com then dot example and then using colon specified by the machine name in my case it is sarpa zero and then hit enter so our second thing is done also which is iqn we have created iqn for the target server now we will create iqn for the client machine okay so to do that type iskg and then iq press tab it will come automatically and then type tpg1 okay look when we created the iq for server we got a tpg1 options okay so after tpg1 type acls and then specify the client machine iqn so here in my case i am specifying like this iqn.2016 iqn.2016-02.com.example and then <coughs> say server one okay and then hit one enter okay it is saying the command not found oh okay i missed the create option c r e a t e just create and then enter okay so now it is created now we have to specify the loons iskz iqn then tpg1 then loons then create and then using slash type b and press tab it will come automatically the whole path of the back stores block that we have created earlier and then hit enter okay our loons already created and now the final thing is portal to create the portal type iskg then iq press tab it will come automatically and then tpg1 then portals create then specify the IP address of this machine let me check the IP address once again uh, my IP address is 172.16.1.202 okay and then hit enter <coughs> okay so all the things we need to create a target we have already done look when we created the portals we got a default ip port which is 3260 okay <coughs> copy it we need this later and then using save config option you can change the save you can save the changes by using save config option hit enter okay it is saved otherwise you can use exit option also uh, exit actually will get you exit from target cli and also save the configuration so you can use exit if you want and hit enter so we have created already our target now we need to do one more thing we need to add the port in our firewall <coughs> port to add port just remember after add you need to use port option and then specify the port and use a forward slash 
type TCP option okay so our port successfully added in our firewall reload your firewall okay now enable the target CLI and start okay we already enabled actually target CLI so we just system CLI start target CLI target, okay or you may restart it if you want restart target dot service okay that is all from the server part we successfully configured our target server now in my next video i will show you how to configure the client for the iskazi so till then you guys take care have a good day i will see you guys in my next video bye bye